What's going on, everyone? Might go back doing another box break. Today, I'll be breaking five boxes of the recently released 2021 Tops 206 Wave 1. So, they did this last year. Surprisingly, shouldn't be too surprised, but I didn't think they would do it quite so soon because in the past they would bring back the 206 set every few years. But of course, based on the way things are selling, why wouldn't they? Anyway, 10 cards per box slash pack. This is wave number one. Uh, difference from last year is last year they did five waves of 50 cards per wave. This year they're doing 10 waves, so it's going to be a much bigger set. I, I love the set. I think they look great, but that might be a little much. I mean, of course, always look forward to getting a chance to add more players to the collection, but... I don't know if I'll do the full set. Last year I did the full set. It looked great. Placed them in a binder. Uh, haven't decided this year. May just pick up the cards I want. But we'll see. Might just be a singles type of year. Of course I'll break some. A lot of cool stuff you can get. You do have a chance at autographs, which I'm sure will be tough again. Last year I never pulled a single autograph. Um, I believe there's... Two tops T two o six buybacks that you can uh, potentially hit, and of course, as always, there's a whole slew of different parallels, and I think some of them will be based on the different waves. So usually the parallels are in the back. So we got Clint Frazier, Ryan Mountcastle, so nice rookie card there. Brett Phillips, Dennis Eckersley, Nick Madrigal. Devers, Mark Teixeira, Buster Posey, then we got an Aaron Nola, and Max Scherzer. So the back two are Piedmonts. Piedmonts are usually two per pack. So they look great. Of course, not going to be for everyone, but for some of the old school collectors out there, or the people who've been around the hobby for a long time with an appreciation for the history of trading cards. You guys will get a kick out of them. A lot of great storage options. I mentioned it a lot last year, but they do make tobacco size card soft sleeves and top loaders and magnetics and pages for your binder. Uh, they also do, if you're hell-bent on keeping standard top loaders, which I get, um, you can actually get soft sleeves with little inserts for these so a lot of great storage options for the 206 set randy johnson but i i really love the tobacco sized minis will myers another nick madrigal al kalon greg maddox marcelo zuna tori hunter josh hater alec bohm and Mark Teixeira. So the Bohm and Teixeira are Piedmont. So cool to hit a parallel of Alec Bohm. Let's get into box number three. The boxes, they always do a really good job on the box. So they look cool. Looks like another pack with just Piedmonts. Ozuna, Max Freed, Eckersley, Chris Bryant. There's a sweet Mike Trout. Jorge Soler, Tim Wakefield, Tori Hunter again, Bubik, and Josh Hader. Okay, one Piedmont, so one of these others must be a parallel. Lennox. So I'm not sure how tough that one is. That's one I would have to look up. I know they're different print runs. So I think there's a couple cards that are numbered this year, but I think less are numbered and more just have print runs. So I'm not positive what the Lennox print run is. I'll have to look that up after the video. You can find all that information on tops.com under each wave release.
Got a sweet on the back. Jimenez, Madrigal again. Ooh, these ones are a little off center. McNeil, Maddox, Seeger, Correa, Fowler, Bubik, Randy Johnson, and Palmer. So Caporal is. Jim Palmer, Piedmont is Randy Johnson. And some base. And our final box. So let's we'll see if we get anything fun in here. I have more of these that I'll break off camera. We don't need to do too long of a break. Save some of them up. Break them with my dad when we get a chance. All right, Gene Segura, Adrian Beltre, Sonny Gray, Brett Phillips, Ozzy Smith, Corey Seeger, Jeff McNeil, Bo Bichette, Carlos Correa, and Chris Bryant. So sweet Chris Bryant, Piedmont, Correa, and the rest will be base. So I like the product. I think it's super fun. Um, just love the look of the cards. I think they're fantastic. Like I said, display-wise, you pop these in some soft sleeves and top loaders of a right size or right insert size. They look great. They do look cool slab, too. A few guys like Mike Trout I may consider grading. Uh, I would say overall, toughest thing with these is centering. Um, usually the corners and edges and surfaces are pretty good. Um, out of the pack and uh, yeah they're fun they're definitely fun to collect so if you're a fan of uh, vintage stuff or the minis um, I would definitely pick some up for the collection anyway appreciate everyone watching and I'll talk to you next time have a great one